Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be showing you how to rebind your keys for your Razer Lens app. So you can see I have opened this up in the Razer Synapse app and I've created a new profile. So this is just the default mappings. And you can see I can basically customize everything here. So there's a left click, right click, everything on the mouse. So yeah, I'm just going to show you how to remap these buttons and some of my suggestions and what I use. So what I do is I just left these two uh, to stay default, the mouse button 5 and 4. So those uh, are basically just to go forward and backwards like on a web page. So you want to go back, you can use a back one. You want to go uh, forward, you just click the forward one. And then for sensitivity, the DPI, for the stage up and stage down, since I don't really use that, uh, you can just click on it. And you can see there's a bunch of different options here. So what I did is I changed mine to copy and paste. So I rebinded it to control C, which is copy and click save. And if you play games, you can also click enable turbo to like make it to make the mouse click that key really fast. And if it, I'm going to make the sensitivity stage down, I'm going to make that control V. So there is also an option in Windows shortcut to do copy and paste. But I'm not sure if that's going to work on the web as well, like for Google Drive and stuff. So I just recommend using the Control c and Control v since you know for sure that's going to work everywhere. And what I did for the mouse button 4 on the other side, since it's an ambidextrous mouse, which means it works for left and right handers, uh, and I, I use it on my right hand, so I don't really use the left buttons as much. So I made the mouse button 4 on the left, I made that be the hypershift, and I'll get back to hypershift in a little bit. And the mouse button 5, I just made that control shift T, which in Chrome is just to open up your tabs that you may have closed earlier. And I left pretty much everything else the same, because, you know, these two, I like to use them for the default, and then scroll click is to open a link in a new tab in Chrome, which I use quite a bit, and then scroll up and scroll down is, you know, pretty straightforward. So the hypershift key I did here, if you click on hypershift, it's gonna give you a, like a whole new mapping for everything here. So uh, basically while holding down the hypershift key, if you click any other button, it'll have a different command. So you basically, you can just double the amount of customizer commands that you have. So if I click on hypershift mode, I can change all of this, including left and right click. And for this, I just customized my chroma effects, which I'll be showing you how to customize in a different video. But what I did is I just went to switch lighting, and I have all these different um, lighting effects. So you can see I made this one ultimate spectrum, and then I'm going to do right click, and I'm going to make that one, let's see, maybe uh, just normal spectrum, which is just the default. And then I made this one the hybrid spectrum and again I'll show you all these effects in a, another video so make sure to stay tuned for that one and this one is red blue and this one I did none and for the sensitivity stage up and down again I just did the volume control so you can this is volume up and this one is volume down and then I did for scroll click I did to mute volume so you can see there's a lot of options here. Not you don't necessarily have to follow what I did. I was just giving you an example of my preference. But you know, everyone has their own preference. And I just wanted to show you how you can customize your Razer Lancet wireless gaming mouse. And I believe this should also apply to the wired mouse. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.